It's the time of the year where we all dress up as different monsters. Well-known characters from horror, lore and myth, our favourite old school monsters, or this year's top trend. Unfortunately, monsters exist everywhere, not just at Halloween, and they can take the form of anyone. Today, we are bringing you the top five myths about the monsters behind grooming and exploitation. Myth number one. Perpetrators of grooming and exploitation are just creepy older men. Often we stereotype the kinds of people who would go after a vulnerable young person as just some old guy. Actually, it could be anyone, any background, gender, race, attractiveness, anything. Myth number two, perpetrators only act in gangs. After an interview with some Hull-based probation officers, we learnt that many perpetrators of grooming and exploitation actually act alone by befriending or getting into a relationship with vulnerable young people. Myth number three, race or religion is an important factor in whether or not someone is a perpetrator. You've likely heard the phrase Muslim grooming gangs, which is a media coined phrase used widely instead of grooming and exploitation. This is wrong as perpetrators can be anybody and locally to the Not In Our Community campaign, the majority of perpetrators are actually white British. Myth number four, all perpetrators are evil supervillains. We'd like to think that someone who could do horrid things to young people are through and through evil, but the world just isn't black and white like that. Sometimes perpetrators have been victims of grooming exploitation themselves. Myth number five, perpetrators only target vulnerable young people. Anyone can fall victim to grooming and exploitation. It is true that victims can often already be in a vulnerable position, such as being a child in care or disabled, but we all have some vulnerability. So the truth is that anyone can be targeted and groomed by these people. It can be scary to understand that anyone can be a perpetrator, anyone can be a victim, and that grooming and exploitation can happen anywhere. But if we arm ourselves with knowledge and we look out for each other, we can help prevent it from happening to people we know. The best way to protect yourself and your mates is to understand the signs that something is wrong and speak to a trusted adult.